Has this ever happened to you? Help! My textures! Ah! No? Well, by the end of this video, it can. My name's Danny, and I stream over on twitch.tv slash dannyvals. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create what I call the inverted green screen. Now, you need just three things for this. An NVIDIA graphics card that's 2000 series or higher, NVIDIA broadcast video effects, and a little bit of software called Atom. If you've never heard of Atom before, it's this really cool bit of software that lets you have an extra layer of interactivity between your stream and your audience. Doesn't matter if you stream on Twitch, YouTube, or TikTok, this is the app to take your stream to the next level. You can download it now for Windows, Mac, or Linux over at atom.tv, and it works on both OBS and Streamlabs, so there's really no reason not to use it. Links for everything I've just mentioned are down in the description, so once you're all downloaded and installed, let's get to it. Welcome to OBS 29. So, pay specific attention down here. Here we have our scenes. Now, I go into this in an upcoming YouTube video. Subscribe, by the way. But what I like to do when I'm using OBS is have things separated in terms of broadcast scenes and reference scenes. So down here, we have our broadcast section and we have our in-game scene. Hello, here's me in a game. What you can see is a embedded webcam scene and an embedded gameplay scene. So if we go down into our gameplay section, we can see this is just the game capture, and this can be from a capture card or just OBS detecting what game you're running. We also have the webcam scene, which is me, hello, and we'll see that I'm using a Camlink 4K here. I also have a webcam green screen scene. If we click into this, you'll see it's me, but without a background. The way we do this is by applying an effect, or a filter rather, to the scene. So not on the actual source, we go to the scenes and we press filters. From here, we add the NVIDIA background removal, and we can see it's a one point threshold, and we're refreshing it every one frame. And we've got it on the uh, quality preset here, so it takes everything out all nicely and doesn't have any horrible, horrible artifacts. Good. Now you may notice how some of these scenes are prefixed with either an R or a B. This is just so that I know when I'm looking through them, I can see B in game is a broadcast scene, and R gameplay, R webcam, R webcam green screen, they're all reference scenes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new Atom section to work with our new application. So we're gonna click here, and we're gonna call it equals equals Atom. This is entirely optional, but it's just how I like to organize my OBS. We're gonna click okay, and we're gonna create a brand new scene. I'm gonna call it A, IG1 mask. This is the inverted green screen, the first scene that we need, and this is the mask scene. Once we've created that scene, we're going to add our webcam green screen scene as a source. So we can click here, add scene, and we're gonna go for our existing scene, the webcam green screen scene. Hello, I missed you. We then gonna to wanna to go ahead and create the new A I G2 key scene, if you can spell. We're then gonna add our mask scene as an embedded source. So we're gonna right click here, press add scene, and we're gonna add IG1 mask. Hello again. What we're gonna do from here is right click the source, we're gonna add a filter. Here we're gonna add the color correction filter, call it whatever you like, and then we're gonna set everything to the absolute maximum beside the saturation. I'm gonna set the color multiply to a value that we'll key out later. So I'm gonna pick this nice bright pink color, press OK, and now you can see I'm a big mask. Once we have our mask, we're gonna go ahead and add our webcam as well. So I'm gonna right click here, add video capture device, and we're gonna add the Camlink 4K. Now we're not adding the scene, we're actually adding the webcam itself. And there's a reason for this, so you don't have extra recursion and weird stuff going on. OBS doesn't like it and it'll fall apart later. So make sure you add your webcam and not your webcam scene. We then move the mask scene above the camera scene. So we now have a pink Danny on my regular background. And then we're gonna go and create a third scene called A IG3 Complete. This is where the magic happens. So here we're gonna add our missing texture image. So I'm gonna say add an image, I'm gonna call it missing texture. I'm going to go and open up our missing texture image. We then wanna go ahead and add in our scene from previously. We're gonna add in IG2 key. There we go. So we can see I am above this scene and the missing texture has now disappeared. The way we fix this is by adding a filter to the IG2 key scene. So we're gonna right click it, go to filters, and we're gonna add a new filter called color key. We're gonna set the key color to either a custom color of whatever you picked before. In my case, we're gonna go for magenta. And we can see now in the preview, I am just a black background. We can change the similarity up or down depending on how much you want to be keyed out. So obviously if you go too far, you can see it's taking out the background. I find depending on your background color, anywhere between 200 and 500 works quite well. 
I'm going to say 165 just for, well, just because really. We're going to close this off and we can now see I am a missing texture. So from here, all that remains now is to go back into our webcam scene and we add our new IG3 complete scene. So I'm going to say scene, IG3 complete, and then it's going to sit here above our webcam layer. This means that when we turn it on or off, we can instantly activate or deactivate our inverted green screen. Now I'm going to turn this off for now. Then we're going to go over to Atom and get that all figured out. I'm not going to go through the whole setup process because one, it depends what streaming platform you're using, but two, Casey Dunn here has done a fantastic video on it. So there's a link in the description, check it out at your leisure. What I'm going to do though, is go into rules to create a new rule. So I'm going to press add here. I'm going to call this rule the inverted green screen. And I'm particularly particular, so I'm going to have capital I on that. Uh, the trigger you can set up separately, depends if you're using Twitch or channel points, or maybe you want to have different things trigger it, such as changing a scene in OBS. I'm not going to go through that here. Have a look for yourself. There's loads you can do with it. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to leave this blank. Bye bye. But I'm going to set up some new actions. What I want to do is I want to pick OBS and I want to say change source visibility. On the scene, we're going to pick our webcam scene. And the source we're going to change visibility of is the IG3 complete scene source rather. We're going to set it to visible immediately. Then we're going to duplicate this so we can turn it off later. So I'm going to say five seconds later, we're going to turn this off. We're going to make it a hidden source. I'm going to press create on that and press save. We can then hit this play button here to test our new action. So I'm going to click this now. Oh no, help. I'm a missing texture. Ah! Then after a few moments, I'm going to come back. There we go. The great thing about Atom is how much control it gives you. You don't just have to turn off and on a source, you have so much more flexibility than that. I would definitely recommend having a look through the action types, seeing what you can do, and just get creative. Get playing, get experimenting, and come up with some really cool stuff. One thing I like to do on my stream is have the throw Danny into a black hole button. So for a certain number of channel points, my viewers can throw me into a black hole essentially. What does that look like? Let's build it together, shall we? So I'm gonna go back into my OBS, I'm gonna go to my complete scene, and we're not gonna use this missing texture anymore. We're gonna take that away. We're gonna change that to video instead. So I'm gonna create a new media source. I'm gonna call it Space, the final frontier. I'm gonna press OK. I wanna have it loop, and I wanna have it close the file when inactive, just for saving some memory. We go into browse, and we have Space MP4. This is just a video that I got from pexels.com, and it looks a little bit like this. Once we put the key scene above it, I think you know where I'm going with this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our webcam. And then as you'll see, when we turn it on and off, I get shot into space. So for a little added flavor, what I'm going to do is make it fade in on show and fade out on hide. The way we do that is by right clicking the scene, go to show transition and set fade. I'm going to set the fade in to about a second. So we're going to change this to a thousand milliseconds and press enter on that. When we hide the thing, we want to zoom away nicely so I'm going to go ahead and add a fade transition on the hide action as well and we'll set that to let's say two seconds on this one why not good make sure that's applied yep lovely good we then want to add an interesting sound so I found one ahead of time which has this like white noise ethereal spooky sound effect it's really cool so what I'm going to do is open up Atom and we want to have that play as soon as we show our inverted green screen so I'm going to go to the bottom of my custom action I'm going to press new action, set the device to Atom because that's what we're playing the sound here. And then the action type will be play sound. I'm going to select my sound file, which here is space MP3, which is precisely 12 seconds long. And that's important. So I'm going to open this up, set the volume to say 80% and the output device will be our default device. And I'm going to press save on that. Actually, what we are going to want to do is drag this above here. So now we have turning on the inverted green screen at the same time it'll play a sound. So these two actions are gonna take place together. When we turn off the inverted green screen, we're actually gonna set this to 10 seconds. Now, as you may remember, the sound is precisely 12 seconds long, but the fade out is two seconds. So when this is all working together, it works nicely. We press save and we're gonna press this play button here to test our action. As you see, I faded out nicely. I'm flying around in outer space. Some spooky sound effect happens. Then after 10 seconds, I fade back in. And there you have it. That's the inverted green screen and there is no end to the possibilities here. So have a play with Atom, have a play with the inverted green screen and just get crazy with it. 
Leave a like if you found anything in this video helpful, and if you have any ideas for crazy, weird, wonderful things to make an atom, let me know in the comments. I would love to see, I'd love to give it a try myself. If you want to watch another video, you can click right here. I've been Danny, I'll see you in the next one.